all have our favorite coffee mug, but are you enjoying your coffee experience in the best cup possible? I'm here in Vancouver to learn more about the art of the coffee cup. Hi, Freddie. Hi. Now, what makes a good coffee cup? Well, I think it's very much about, um, about how it fits into the hand. I watch my clients that come into a show and they'll look at all the cups that I've made and they're all different shapes and sizes and colors. And so obviously they're attracted by those things, but they pick them up and they really spend a lot of time paying attention to how it feels in their hands. So how their fingers fit into the handles and how the rim fit, feels on their lips. And drinking out of a cup is a very intimate experience. And I think that people respond to that with handmade cups. How does the shape of the cup affect the experience of drinking that particular beverage? Well, a couple of things. I think that it's about scale. So obviously an espresso um, I make a very small cup for and I have a, a slightly larger one that I make for an Americano. Um, and then an open bowl that I do for a latte or a cappuccino. Now, uh, what types of material do you use when you're making a mug? Uh, so I work with a couple of different clay bodies. Now, is there a material to avoid uh, when you're making a mug for a hot beverage? So I wouldn't use a material that has a lot of coarse particles in it, um, but at the main thing I would say is that I, I tend to make my cups a little thicker and heavier to give that kind of insulating quality. Um, a, a really thin mug you'll burn your hands on, so it's not so nice to use. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Freddie. Now that we've learned so much about mugs, I can definitely say that every coffee moment calls for its own cup.